have the type of success that, that we had required that uh, the planning was world class, that the innovation and the technologies employed was state of the art, that the quality of the people on site was second to none, that the relationship with our stakeholders, whether it's subcontractors, the owners of the teams, uh, or the local uh, labor unions, that those relationships were strong, uh, the commitment to diversity and inclusion as far as this project is concerned. You don't end up with the results that we had unless you have superior uh, results against each of those areas. Projects of, of this magnitude have a structure that you know, creates some financial risk at both ends. Those projects are really tough to complete in a positive way unless you have shared, shared values and agree on common goals. Uh, one of the things that happened with this project from uh, the very beginning is we both had a great amount of respect for one another and we both not only understood but put great importance on the other party achieving their goals. So as we encountered issues, we were able to deal with them very effectively and because we were both committed to the project's success and very respectful of the goals that each party had, uh, we were able to get through those, those disputes in a very efficient manner with, uh, with the right decisions being made without any type of bias towards uh, the owner or the builder. Uh, we had all the benefits of having control. We had a tremendous uh, partner in Skanska that was not only sensitive to uh, delivering uh, the project at the appropriate cost, delivering the project on the appropriate schedule, but they were also very committed to making sure we got the maximum dollar benefit out of the design. Uh, so those things that typically can become uh, issues in a design-build situation, we really didn't have to deal with because of how strong the commitment was from Skanska uh, to the overall process. We were overwhelmed with uh, not only the project management process, but the way that Skanska employed the latest in technology to help deliver this project as, as well as they did. That allowed us to almost have a real-time assessment of where we were in terms of construction and therefore schedule. Uh, some of the innovative uh, ways of managing the uh, inventory of parts and pieces coming into this facility, and many of them time sensitive in terms of uh, getting on site and getting in place so that it didn't have a negative impact in terms of the construction schedule. The RFID uh, program that Skanska employed, with, particularly with the precast, uh, that allowed for the, uh, not only the inventory control, uh, but also the placement in field uh, was one of the, uh, the real keys in getting the job off to a really, really good start, and it was a schedule uh, benefit that we uh, uh, maintained through the completion of the project. From construction, uh, through sourcing of materials, and ultimately through operations, uh, we're very proud of uh, where, where this project is in terms of sustainability, and the fact that uh, Skanska delivered this and flying colors in each of those areas is a real testament to the quality of that company.